Hi guys, it's your girl Chatty Patty and I'm back with another edition of Chat to Patty, my favorite, favorite feature on my channel. I hope you guys enjoyed the way that I enjoyed because I love hearing from you guys and love hearing your scenarios and giving some feedback on what I would do if I was in your situation. So this week I have two questions again. This time it's from two women with two relationship dilemmas and um, it's pretty interesting and I loved it. So um, here is the questions and stay tuned for my responses. First question, I met this guy online and he and I have been talking back and forth for a while now. He's single and so am I, but the problem is, is that he lives in another country and as much as I want to be with him, I can't imagine being in a long distance relationship. I've never been in one before because I'm a girl that constantly needs affection, physical affection. Long distance relationships are expensive and my phone bill is already high from our late night, talk, our late night phone calls. I wouldn't mind seeing him if it came down to it, but he has not offered to pay at least half of my ticket, which is a turn off, which either means he can't afford to or that he's out to use me. Chatty Patty, can you give me some advice and let me know what I should do? First of all, thank you for um, sending the question to me. Um, very interesting question and one that I know a lot about because I've been in long distance relationships, so I know what you're going through. First of all, um, Long distance relationships, as we all know, is, is very difficult. Um, it's expensive, whether it's on the phone or buying plane tickets to see one another. Um, I'm figuring out, well, I kind of get a sense that from your um, email that he is not able to fly or else maybe you would have mentioned it or whatever. So let's say I am right and he's not able to fly. It makes a relationship even harder to be in. Um, I would not recommend saying no to long distance relationships because I've seen a lot that have been able to work and women that have been able to stand by that relationship to the point where next, you know, the guy is able to fly and they're able to be together. So long distance relationships aren't impossible. It takes a lot of patience, a lot of work, understanding communication because a lot of the communication is verbally, it's not physically. Um, in your sense where... You, you're not sure if you want to be in a relationship, you have a right to be unsure because if you've never been in one, it's hard to just jump into something that you're not accustomed to. Um, at the fact that he has not mentioned, you mentioned a ticket, I would not take it as him being not able to afford it or um, him out to use you. Maybe he thinks, maybe you come off in a way that you're this independent woman that you take care of your own. Maybe he doesn't want to say, you know what, let me buy it and make it seem like maybe you're the one who can't afford it. That's how you could turn it into that way. What I would do is get right off the bat, just ask, you know, um, I wouldn't mind seeing you. It's been a while. We've been talking, we've been hanging out. Well, verbally. <laughs> and, um, I would like to see you. Unfortunately, you know, um, tickets are expensive. I may not have all the money. It would be great if maybe you could kind of chip in. It would make it much easier for me to see you. And maybe we could see each other even more times after that. You need to go about that and wait to see what he says about that. If he says yes, I say take the ticket. Have a good time. Enjoy. Be around him. See if at that time if you still feel the, way, the same way about him then maybe pursue it more because when you see them, that is when it's the test. That's when you get tested to see if you guys are compatible. Who knows? Maybe while you see each other, you guys are arguing or whatnot. You don't know. Maybe it's like the best time of your life and you're like, you know what? I don't care if this relationship is long distance. I'm willing to make it work. We go half and half. We It's a 50-50 thing and then we try to see where it goes. It's fun. It's nice. Some of these long distance relationships, these guys are some of the best guys you could meet. Unfortunately, they just don't live near you. So um, I would say that um, if he says, you know what, I can't afford the ticket, but I do want to see you. It's up to you at that point. I mean, if you're a grown woman and a guy cannot afford a plane ticket to see you, even, not to say the whole thing, but at least half. I would kind of question it. I would kind of question it. Maybe he has bills, but if it's like, you know, he never has money and it's that thing, 
if you're in a position to help out, then that's fine. But if you're a young woman like me and you're doing your own thing and you're just working to survive and get things going, oh, I don't know if it will be great to bring in someone into a relationship who doesn't have his own and then you have to kind of like help him out. I don't know. I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend it, but, um, I hope it's not that. I hope that he is willing to pay for half the ticket. I hope that you guys can at least see where it goes because if you've been talking for a while, you kind of see, you know what, if you're able to trust him, first of all, you have to trust him. If you don't trust him, don't take that ticket, go there and you don't know what you're stepping into. So you have to have that trust in him to know what you're getting yourself into offer the uh, ask him about the ticket if he has not mentioned it just go out and just say you know what i want to see you can you pay half and see where it goes and you heard my other options so i hope that helps you um long distance relationships aren't the worst sometimes they're the best relationships you can ever have and if it doesn't work maybe a friendship can develop or you know what you have a place to stay whenever you come into town i mean if you're looking for a relationship then you know weigh out your options if this is just some fun times you the two of you just want to see where it goes you just you guys are just having fun have fun i mean nothing everything doesn't have to be so serious so lighten up see where it goes ask questions stop assuming that you know what he cannot pay or he's out to use you you need to speak up a lot of us women were just assuming oh you know he's a certain way we need to speak up so i hope that helps you and i'm going to go on to question number two which is another good one i met this guy a while back and we started talking to each other and i realized quickly this is that his feelings for me are stronger than my feelings for him i recently got out of a relationship with my child's father and i'm not sure i'm ready to be in another one the relationship ended very badly and i'm still hurt by it he takes care of me financially and has proven that he wants more than a relationship by wanting to marry me. I do have some feelings for him, but not a lot. And I've told him this and he said he is willing to stick around till I do. Not sure what I should do at this point. Can you please give me some advice? It's hard to be in a new relationship when you haven't fully... When you haven't fully gotten out of the old one, and especially if it was a nasty breakup, it makes the situation even worse. You're hurt, and it's not fair to this new guy that you bring those hurt feelings towards him. Sometimes I wonder if in women, if we weren't hurt in our past relationships, would we be willing to like open up and really like this new guy? And I'm sure the answer is yes, because... A lot of us, we carry around these old ill feelings and it just drowns us. It just brings us down. Instead of getting to meet this new guy and putting the effort into knowing him and not doing the comparison that we always do. You um, stated here that you don't have a lot of feelings for him. And sometimes that happens. Sometimes you meet someone, you don't have feelings for them like that. You know, you like them and you see where it goes, but it's not like you're head over heels. You're ready. You're loved. You, you're shook. You know, you whipped, <laughs> American-wise. You know, you, you don't have those feelings. And sometimes things like that takes time. So um, it takes time. You you know, um, I wouldn't say just let it go because right now your feelings for him aren't as strong. Maybe it's a friendship and then somehow it just develops into something more. My problem is, is that if you don't have a lot of feelings for you, you should not be taking any kind of financial handouts from him at all because all of that is leading him on. If you don't have feelings, tell him to keep his money. You don't want the gifts. Let us just get to know each other. Don't um, shower me with money and gifts and whatnot and marriage proposals if you and I aren't on the same page. Um, it shows that he has a great interest in you if he wants to marry you. Um... I just say that you need to be very outspoken to him and let him know I've come from a hurt past. I've been hurt by my ex. Um, right now may not be the right time for me to be in a relationship and that I just want to take things very slow. If we can, you and I can just be friends for now and just take it very slow and see where it develops, then that would be good. If he's willing to wait this out, like you said, you told him he's willing to wait. I said, that's a great guy. He's willing to wait and be there for you. But 
somehow this situation is much deeper than it is you're still carrying around hurt feelings from your past which is not good because you are a woman that needs to be loved that should be loved and so what your relationship ended up bad how long are you going to be able to keep continuing to rehash these same feelings again your ex it, is he moved on has he moved on to someone new if so what what about you what are you waiting for sometimes it's great to seek some kind of counselor psychologist about this because these things are deep rooted um it's not good to carry on anger and hurt feelings and you're young and you're vibrant and you know years later you're you wake up and you're like 50 60 years old and then you want to be loved but then it's like it's too late not to say that someone 50 or 60 cannot be loved because yes they can love is universal it doesn't have it doesn't discriminate against anybody's age but you don't want years to pass by where you're alone and you're hurt and you're you you're unwilling to love someone because you're still hurt by something that happened in your past it's not fair to you it's not fair to the person so first of all my advice to you stop taking the money period end it right there get to know him if he's willing to be patient, then that means that he is understanding. That means he's willing to wait. That means he has patience, which is very good. And um, stick it out. If you know that you, from you saying you have some feelings for him, that goes to show you that something is starting to develop. It may not be right now, but it may be eventually. And again, he's willing to wait. Um, what should you do? Seek a counselor, seek a psychologist. Seek someone that has been in your position. There are help groups out there for women, you know, um, for women who have been in your position, who are hurt, who are wanting to, like, move on. But first, you have to know that you are ready to move on. If you're not ready to move on from your past, then all that I'm saying is makes no sense. And you might as well just not even listen to this video. But if you are ready to make that first step in renewing your life and getting past your past, seek some professional help because you already have a guide that's right there on the side that says you know what I know what you're going through and I'm willing to be right here for you and willing to wait as long as I can so do that and stop taking the money please it's not right do not do it do not take marriage proposals tell them slow it down put those brakes on and let's just take it very slowly and see where things go so I hope you like my um responses um i really love both questions um i thank you guys for watching my videos and um please stay tuned for more videos i'll leave my email address below if you are interested in sending a question again the people that send these questions as you can see i never say their names their identities are never um told to my um viewers you know it's kept between me and that person and we have that understanding and respect amongst one another so um, please know that all of your questions will be um, confidential and I thank you so much for tuning in to uh, my channel um, second of all I would like to thank all of my new subscribers I haven't put out videos in a minute and I've still been getting subscribers and I'm so thankful and happy about that um, shows that you guys are interested in seeing more of me so stay tuned for more if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so and also check out my blog i have my blog which i update very frequently it is therealchattypatty.com where i give more detailed information on my life beauty fashion whatnot it's all there so thank you for your continued support i love you love you guys so much see you guys again soon bye